please rise for the entrance of our students.
Well, good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2009 Senior Commencement Ceremonies. I'm Dave Webb. I'm the principal here at Fridley High School. And on behalf of all of our school board members, faculty, and staff, we welcome not only the graduates tonight, but all of you to join us for this great ceremony. This evening, I have the pleasure of introducing our first student speaker, Ms. Beth Zebarth. Beth is one of our, our top, top academic students at our school. She also has a real positive outlook on life. And she was, I think, a fine pick. And come on, come on up, Beth, for our opening introduction to introduce the guests that we have behind me here on stage. Take it away. Good evening. I would like to begin by introducing the people you see on the stage this evening. From your left to right, we have our school board members, Gordon Backlund, Brad Richter, Marsha Lindblad, Chris Riddle, Kim Sampson, and Fred Bischke. Next, we have the retiring superintendent of Fridley Public Schools, Mr. Mark Robertson, Principal Dr. Dave Webb, Ms. Deb Kay is our staff speaker selected by our graduating class of 2009, and our assistant principal, Ms. Sarah Vernick, and our activities director, Mr. Dan Roth. Finally, I would like to extend a thank you to the senior class of 2009. These last four years have fashioned my life. We have been together through it all, and now at our commencement, after witnessing our passion and strengths, all I can say is that I am proud to be a member of this graduating class. I am proud to be graduating from a small school, and I am proud to be a member of this family. Have a great night, everybody. We deserve it. As Beth mentioned, our uh, superintendent of schools, Mr. Mark Robertson, is retiring this year, and uh, we're letting him lead off our commencement program with uh, his message to our 2009 graduates and also our community. Uh, Mark and I started together. I started as principal the same year that Mark started as superintendent, and we've worked together for the past six years uh, to continue to try to put good things in front of all of our uh, graduates here tonight. One of the things that Mark's uh, best known for is really being a systems thinker. He looks at uh, all the different systems and programs and that, are, that are really occurring K-12 within our district. And he, gets, he rolls up his sleeves, he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. He gets in, truly understands the system, and then rebuilds it to make it stronger and more efficient and effective. And the fact that he was named Minnesota Superintendent of the Year last year is a sign of his great work. With that, please join me in, in welcoming our retiring superintendent, Mr. Mark Robertson. The coolest thing about this podium is you can put it up. Um, well, class of uh, 2009, when you, as you sit there tonight, um, this is the last time you're going to sit there together as a group. I don't know if you've thought about that. but. Um, I always think about that in June when we come around to commencement time, and um, this is actually the last time for me to um, get to or have to, whatever way I look at it, make little comments up here um, to a graduating class. Um, I've been thinking a little bit about this, this day for a long time, as I'm sure you have, and um, one of the things that Dave said to me is that it needs to be short. It needs to be clever, and um, it really needs to be thought-provoking. Um, that's a pretty tall order, folks, and um, not as easy as you might think it is. Um, on the short part, I I'm still a teacher at heart, and you guys have sat through class for 13 years now, give or take a little bit, um, and you know teachers, um, they like to talk. and. Um, that's going to be a hard one, but I'll, I'll do it. Uh, the, clear, the term clever superintendent, I learned one thing in English class in high school. That's an oxymoron. Um, just doesn't quite work. And then try to interest and provoke thought in uh, an audience sitting in hard bleachers and age two months up to 90. Try that sometime and see how that works for you. So, um, 
I've been hearing that some of you have been complaining about uh, being in school all of 13 years now. Um, let me put that in perspective for you. This summer, in one month, I I'm graduating too. I've been in school for over 50 years now. Um, so if you think you've had it tough, um, try doing that sometime. Uh, interestingly, I, I think I have some of the same thoughts and questions that you might have going through your mind right now as I venture out into my new uh, repurposing in life, whatever that means. Here's some of the questions that came to my mind. What will it be like out there in the real world? What will I do with all my free time? What will I do? What will it be like to have some freedoms that I do not have now? I'm sure you're thinking of that. Where will you be? And what will you be doing in six months, a year, or six years from now? My guess is that uh, if you're doing any kind of reflection at all now as you graduate, you have a mixed bag of emotions going through your head. Some relief, some sadness, some happiness, some uncertainty, and perhaps a little bit of fear. While you may be thinking of questions like that, I think there are two questions I'd like you to think about tonight. And the two questions are this. Who are you? And what are you going to do with what you've been given? The who are you question is really critical and the most important question of all. Because if you don't know who you are and what your core values are, what your strengths and weaknesses are, what your passions are, you're likely going to have a tough time figuring out what you're going to do on this planet for the next umpteen years. The sooner you can figure out who you are, the easier and more satisfying the rest of your life is going to be, trust me. The second question is this. What are you going to do with what you've been given? I don't mean material things. I mean, what are you going to do with the knowledge, the passions, and the talents that you have? And how are you going to leverage those to make a difference in this world? We have pessimists in the room, and pessimists argue this, that we live in the toughest times today, where there's no hope for the future, given what we hear and see what's going on in television and newspapers. Some of you, though, are optimists, and you would say that adventures and opportunities abound. And if you look at the pace of change, invention, and creativity that's happening in our world, it's almost mind-boggling today. While you are reaching an academic benchmark tonight, know this. Knowledge alone won't get you very far in life. You really need to do something with what you do, what you know, and what you've been given if you're going to experience any success in life. Over 100 years ago, Booker T. Washington wrote this, and it rings true today. The world, cares very, the world cares very little about what you know. It is what you're able to do with that knowledge that really counts. All of you sitting here tonight have something to offer. Some of you have a lot more to offer than you really think you have today. At your class reunion in 20 years, you might just be surprised who in your class will have emerged as the ones that have impacted their families and their communities the most? Know that there's not always a direct correlation between GPAs, athletic and uh, other letters, and popularity and visibility in high school as it relates to success and significance in life. Good for you that have achieved at a high level in high school up to now, but, and keep it coming. But the point is this, some of you will be late bloomers, and you haven't even discovered what your talents are yet. You can ask Bill Gates about that one and ask him what his track record was in high school. I would like to use the metaphor of a coin as you think about the next steps in your life. Your life is like a coin. Just as a coin has different sides to it, so it is with life. Sort of a good news, bad news thing. The good news is that you get, your, get to spend your coin any way you want. It is yours to spend freely. Ultimately, nobody in this room can tell you how to spend it, except for you. What a deal. Better yet, most of you are going to have a long time to spend that coin, a lot longer than your parents or myself. It doesn't get any better than that. On the other side of the coin, though, is the fact that you only get to spend your coin one time. That's it. Wherever, whatever, however you choose to spend your coin of life, you get to spend it once. 
Think about how you will spend your coin as you make both little and big decisions in the upcoming days, weeks, months, and, and years. By the way, um, my opinion on where we're at sometimes in life, not always, but uh, if you find yourself in a good spot today or in a bad spot today in your life, it probably isn't the result of one singular decision that you've made. It's likely the result of a series of good or bad choices that you've made that have piled up for you. I'm going to encourage you to spend your life coin wisely so that at the end of your spending spree, you can look back and say to yourself, I did okay, or maybe you can even say, I really did great in how I spent what I had. The world has never been so connected as it is today. You graduate in a time when the challenges are oh so great, but then so are the opportunities. As you face your own challenges and opportunities, it isn't necessarily about who you are or what you have today. Rather, life is more about who you choose to become and what you decide to do with your life on a daily basis as you go forward from today. It seems to me that the future belongs to those who choose to get in the game. If you do nothing else after tonight, don't get stuck in life. You will miss out on so much. So I ask you the question, who are you and what will you do with what you've been given? Will you leverage what you have been equipped with for greater good, or will you simply spend the coin of your life on yourself? Take that coin of your life that you've been given, invest it wisely, make your coin grow, and make it become bigger and better by continuing to learn and to grow and to serve others. Spend your coin well, not just on yourself, but with the people that you find yourself surrounded with and in the places where you find yourself situated in this planet. Leverage your coin to make a difference in a world that desperately needs your contributions. And when all is said and done and you come to a place in life where you decide to shift gears and move on to another stage, I promise you that you will have no regrets. I give you my best wishes, class of 2009, as you embark on new and exciting journeys in your life. Thank you. Would the band and choir members make your way back to your respective groups at this time?
As the uh, band and choir members are making their way back to their seats, I would like to just take a minute to uh, give a special thank you to Bruce Messer and to Jonathan Grimsby for their outstanding leadership of our music program here at Fridley High School. At this time, I would like to invite Donish Khan, Elizabeth Layton, and Andrea Sampson to the podium. The three of them asked to uh, present as a trio this year and uh, have a shared commencement address. You guys can make your wave right up here. We, uh, I think it says something about this class and how connected they are and how unified they are as a group and I think you will enjoy their student presentation as well. And uh, feel free to adjust this as you roll into your speeches. Hi, my name is Andrea Sampson. I would like to start out my speech with what I feel is the most important part, a moment of silence for one of our fellow classmates and friends, Emmanuel Bartow, who is no longer with us. Please bow your heads. Thank you. The high school experience and our education in general are as intertwined with our lives as the ABCs are to our language. What we have learned has become a foundation for our approach to learning and our way of thinking. The people and experiences we've encountered have joined with our attitudes and ideas to create a unique perspective of ourselves and our world. This is the only world we've ever known, but it has prepared us for what will come next. Literally speaking, the ABCs are reflected in all of the stages of our education. When we were first in school, we learned the alphabet. Then, we learned how letters combined to form words and then sentences. Later, they were in the names of our tests. MCAs, NWEAs, ACTs, and SATs. Figuratively speaking, letters are linked to events and people that are a part of our memories. One that sticks out in my mind is the TG versus Fridley football game of 2006 when we won by one point in the fourth quarter. Another is Eman and his million dollar smile and charisma that will be forever remembered. There are memories that can't be defined to a letter but are basic to all of us. That first day walking through the high school doors, that was the highlight of our education, well, to that point at least, and we were facing new teachers, new challenges, and a bunch of new but older faces. If not for the pep fest and the footer stations, what would we have done? But we had each other and we managed to have some fun along the way. Is it just me or are we the best looking class? <laughs> Did we not always win the class challenges? Were we not the best grade at sports? Well, that's how I remember it. We had some fun, we learned some stuff, and made a bunch of friends while doing it. It was a whole lot of work and effort, but the tassel is worth the hassle. Respected principal, teachers, coaches, staff members, parents, friends, and family members. Welcome to Fridley High School 2009 graduation day. This is a day that will be remembered for months, but probably a lifetime. I want to start by saying we made it, class of 2009. We did it. The sleepless nights, the hardless tests, and long sit sitting times through the classrooms all paid off. We're here. This year, I believe, said a lot about Fridley's community, the high school staff and coaches, the school, but especially the class of 2009. Out of the four years in high school, this year by far was the hardest. But the class of 2009 fought through it. I've seen students helping students that I've never seen talking to each other before. No matter what, each person had someone to talk to, and that says a lot about the kind of students you all are. Someone once told me that with every close, door that closes, a new one opens, bringing in good memories and good times. 
dude, this was a year bringing some memories. Yes, every, every one of us, including me, have our own memories that will be remembered from high school. But the cool thing about the class of 2009 is that we all have memories that will be shared, like the game-winning catch Evan made at Columbia Heights, the game-winning interception Eman made against North Branch, the pep fest, the best chance, and how we won every challenge at every pep fest. Or what about the senior prank that went down the drain? <laughs> because the teachers found out. And of course I remember or because it's pretty obvious, best looking class. The class of 2009 also had a lot of students who achieved what so many try to try so hard for. Harun Abda going to nationals in track. Aaron Madsen becoming named Merit Scholar. And of course we have our own video production company. Shout out to JSW. Yes, the past, four, the past four years have brought good times and many smiles and laughs that will be remembered forever. The difference between the class of 2009, the previous classes that walked through here, and the ones that will walk through in the future, is that the class of 2009 will always have a connection that will keep us together. I'm going to stop now before Dr. Webb gets mad and doesn't give me my diploma. <laughs> so I'm going to end with it, with it by saying, congratulations of 2009, you did it. Congratulations and good luck. I'll see you in 10 years. <clears throat> Thank you, Donish. After four years, I'm sure none of you would disagree with me when I say that high school has become a cyclic repetition. Every day, seeing the same faces, sitting in the same lunchroom, walking the same routes. What's even more cyclic is the coming and going of classes as wholes, the graduation of the seniors, the orientation of the freshmen, going out and coming in. It's been the system, and the teachers and administrators see the same ceremony every year. It's the changing of seasons. It's sending us out because we're ready to be sent out. However, I want you all to know that the class of 2009 is not to be deemed as just one of these plain, ordinary classes. We know in our hearts that there's an underlying bond between all of us that not even our future can totally strip away. It may sound kind of silly, but just because we're going our separate ways doesn't mean that the memories of E-Man, our school-wide tardy problem, or our lunchtime grape fights will ever die within us. As we move forward in our lives, each and every one of us will look back over our shoulders to what went on in high school at some point. There will come a time when every single one of us, years from now, will look back on how traumatizing our yearbook picture was, how badly we failed our chemistry quiz, or how much we thanked Shirley for giving us a pass to class. Even if it's just a fleeting glimpse or memory of our teenage years. There isn't a doubt about it, the class of 2009 will always have an underlying and sometimes invisible bond that nobody else will ever quite understand. Considering the past, present, and future of each senior here at Fridley High School, I have no doubt that Ralph Waldo Emerson was referring to the class in front of me when he said, what lies behind us and what lies ahead of us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Congratulations, cl class of 2009. Thank you. Last thing I want to say is, the night Emmanuel Barteau died, we got together in the high school cafeteria for a couple hours. Near the end of the night, the football team gathered on one side of the cafeteria, and after sharing many positive comments about Emmanuel, the team broke out into the school song. Though as a part of our, tonight as a part of our address, we would like to, we would like to have the entire crowd here this evening, rise to join us in the singing of the school song. For those who are new to the Fridley, to Fridley, we welcome you to join us. And the words of the song are posted on the wall in the your left-hand corner. Mr. Grimsey, can you help us, please? I will shine tonight, our team will win this game, 
ever true and ever loyal. We'll sing and cheer her fame. Sing is a school for alma mater. We're proud of black and gold. Sing a song for Dio Fridley and cheer her fighting team to both. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Well done. Our staff speaker for this evening, selected by the class of 2009, is Miss Deb Kay. <laughs> Deb is well known for her endless energy and her positive connections with students throughout our school. Please join me in welcoming Miss Deb Kay. Thank you. Class of 2009, you first came before me as 8th graders in 2005, and then later as 10th graders in 2007, and now as seniors graduating in 2009. I remember when you watched the farewell PowerPoint I made and dedicated to you in 8th grade, and how so many of you cried, fearful of that big trip ahead of you, cried thinking about that big leap that you would soon make, that trip all the way across the street. <laughs> In hindsight, perhaps that wasn't such a big step, but where you are standing today certainly is. Today you take a much bigger step. Today you officially cross a much wider road, the road from childhood to adulthood. Thank you for asking me to share this day with you. I'm truly honored. And although I'm certainly not trying to be suspicious of your motives, but it did sort of cross my mind having been your 10th grade speech teacher where I required a speech once, a, you know, once a week for 12 weeks, I'm hoping this isn't some brutal form of payback. <laughs> but here you are, off into the world, a new world, a world that is changing rapidly and changing in ways we can't yet even predict. The Department of Labor predicts that you will each have 10 to 14 different jobs by the time you are 38. And the clincher, no one knows what those jobs will be, as the top 10 jobs predicted to be in demand in 2010 did not exist in 2004. And your competition will be stiff. With the advent of globalization and global access to the internet, anyone with a computer possesses the capability to be inventors and innovators and has all the same knowledge at their fingertips as do you. In China, the 25% of the population with the highest scores is greater than the total population of North America. And in India, it's the top 28%. That means those countries have more honors kids than we have kids. But you will do it, you will triumph, you'll be competing in a global world that will be intensely competitive. With so many changes ahead of you in the job market, you will also have to become remodelers of your own lives along the way, and you will have to stay aware and be alert for the changes. Fridley High School in the not too distant past was a high school just like many other high schools across the state, but this school reinvented itself. We became an IB school to better prepare you for the global stage. And now you will take over your own education where you will be required to reinvent yourselves many times along your life's journey, and you will have to become teachers of your own future, teachers of your own careers, and teachers of your own destiny. And remember those who are alongside of you today. Look to each other for continued support, much like I saw you do for each other in my classroom. I'm referring here to something I call the chronic bronchitis of the class of 2009. That's when I thought I heard a cell phone begin ringing in my classroom, but the coughing and the bronchitis would flare up and then I couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> you were there for each other and you certainly showed great teamwork. And as far as teamwork, remember to, play, to be a global player, a global player on the team for humanity. Remember that in this global world, reaching out to others and working together Getting along with others means more now than ever before. For those of you who were in World Lit class, remember the panel we had when immigrants to our country, your fellow classmates, 
reminded us that they were here because they had chosen to come to America. Even if they were being forced to flee from their own countries, they still had chosen America because they believed America to be a kind and great country. And how they asked you to always support them and be there with them as they forged their way in this new country. They chose us. They chose you. Don't let them down. Don't let anyone down. Lead your way with your heart and help others along the way. In doing so, you will be held up. You will be supported. And we, your parents, your teachers, your friends, we will not have to worry about you. We will know that you are never alone. And remember that while you invent and reinvent yourself on life's road, that you continue to stay true to your passions. In class, we talked about how the number one indicator to a happy life was to have a satisfying job. So if you haven't already, find that passion within you, that one thing that you know you will love to do. Look for it in your heart. It is there. You will find it if you keep looking. Don't give up and don't be frustrated. Just keep searching. And when you find it, you will know. It will fill you up and it will blow you away with its motivation and power. It will light up your future and prepare the road you will need to travel. And then when you find it, like our author Kao Kalia Yang said, run like there's nothing in front of you. Class of 2009, make it happen. Make sacrifices for this passion. It will reward you with great happiness and great accomplishment. And that is all we here want for you. We want you to feel like you've accomplished great things in this world and that you are happy. So class of 2009, go live a life that those around you will want to follow. Be passionate, be kind, take care of each other, and be happy. Congratulations. Scattered throughout the gymnasium this evening are a number of district faculty and staff. And I'd like you to join me at this time in a round of applause for all of our K-12 staff members in attendance this evening. I would also like to recognize two particular individuals that are retiring this year from the high school. It's Ms. Judy Armold and Mr. Gary Kleiber. Please join me in congratulating them. Next, I'd like to recognize the outstanding work of my assistant, Sue Culbertson, who coordinated much of what you see tonight, the, the flowers and the, all the seating arrangements and uh, programs and uh, phone calls that many of you had about tickets and whatnot. Please join me in recognizing Sue's great work. I'm extremely proud of our in-house technical leadership with Dave Harvett and the number of camera operators and crew that are able to broadcast our show live to the community of Fridley tonight. Please join me in recognizing all of them. Just to get our, our athletic area polished up and ready for tonight takes an enormous amount, amount of work behind the scenes to set our stage. And, they actually have to crawl underneath the stage and fasten all the bolts. And I just want to thank our custodial crew, Rick Moss, Greg Kintop, and the crew. Uh, please join me in recognizing all of their great work. And now, would the members of the class of 2009 please stand? Members of the Board of Education and Superintendent Robertson, the members of this class have fulfilled all the requirements for graduation from this school as set forth by the State Board of Education and the Board of Education of Fridley School District 14. In recognition of this achievement, they are entitled to their diplomas as graduates of Fridley High School.
We seek the cooperation again of all guests this evening by withholding your applause and cheers as the student names are read. And remember our pledge? At this time, the first row can begin making your way up to the podium and the rest of you can be seated. Anwar Abda with honors. Haroon Abda with high honors. Sydney Adams. Akeem Akwe. Paige, Paige, Paige Allen. Jawad Al Nabi with honors. <laughs> Hannah Andrews with high honors. Elijah Anway with high honors. <laughs> Nicholas Ball with high with high honors. Caitlin Bailey with honors. Emmanuel Barto. <laughs> Michael Bellify. <laughs> Nicholas Bellify. <laughs> Alyssa Benning with honors. <laughs> Kara Benson with high honors. Alois Bielek with highest honors valedictorian. Cassandra Bender. Tatiana Blinova with high honors. Lauren Bloomquist with honors. Brandon Bokai. Dontrell Boer Davis. Brent Buzel Jr. Abdallah Borner. Mamet Bowman. Jenica Brandt. Cassandra Breyer, with honors. Brooke Brosey. Nicholas Bullerman. Alyssa Carlson, with honors. Leslie Carr, with honors. Vanessa Chandler. Andrew Christensen, Trisha Seelick, Jan Claudel with high honors, Consuelo Curitan, Travis Dahl, Ruth Davies. Juan De La Riva Carpio, with highest honors. Justin Demo. Jerica DeShane, with highest honors. Joshua Duan, with high, with honors. Shannon Doherty with honors. Jeffrey Dolly. 
Janton Dominguez. Kian Danau. Thomas Dozman. Roger Duax. Daniel Dean with highest honors. Guliad Egwe. Sarah Erdman with highest honors. Ryan Fahey with high honors. Samantha Felix. Amanda Fisher with honors. Justin Fitzgerald. Cy Fleming. Jenna Freichels with honors. Kyle French. Thomas Gilbertson South. Heather Grambo with honors. I think it's you. Alex. Is this the new row? Okay. Aaron Green with honors. John J. Green. <laughs> Jacob Groth. <laughs> Toman Groupie. <laughs> Stephen Haley with high honors. Andrew Hanna. <laughs> Lindsay Hansen. <laughs> Molly Harmel with high honors. Ethan Hearn, Amanda Holmes with honors, Alexandra Holt with highest honors, Amber Jacobson, Robert Jacobson, Noor Jalil with high honors. Megan Jennings, Jessica Jensen, Benjamin Jesser with high honors, Brittany Johnson with honors, Jonathan Johnson, Nicole Johnson with high honors. Tiffany Johnson with honors. Terry Jones. Amber Joswick with honors. Kyle Kapala. Sarah Kapala. Kelsey Coffold with high honors. Angela Kersey. Marlena Kersey. Danish Khan. Congratulations. Kali King with honors. Sean King. Robert Kostick with highest honors. Daniel Cochin with honors. Linda Kramis with honors. Katie Kirchma. Miranda Kreisel. Samantha Kuglin with honors. Eric Locke with high honors. Alexander Langowitz the fourth. Kendra Larson with high honors. Michael Larson. Sua Lee with highest honors. 
Elizabeth Layton with high honors. Krista Lennox with honors. Christina Lezhepakova with honors. Yeshi Lamo with honors. Cassandra Lieb. Landon Ludke with honors. Melanie Moss with honors. Eric Madden. Yasmin Mahdi with honors. Aaron Matson with highest honors, valedictorian. Ryan Matson. Ryan McNerlin with honors. Alan Mendoza. Nicole Menon with honors. Martha Mensa with high honors. Mary Mensa with honors. Rachel Meyer. Ruth Milks. Ian Moreri with honors. Quorum Mohammed. Aaron Montgomery. Christopher Montgomery. Miranda Muller. Erica Neighbor with highest honors. Richmond Na. Michael Nyhart with honors. Christopher Norman. Samira O'Neill. Travis Angst with honors. Noel Apari Otto. Ashley Page. Alyssa Paradise with high honors. Lindsay Paradise with honors. Kate Parrott with highest honors, valedictorian. Martin Peterson. Thaddeus Picot with high honors. Rachel Raffisberger. Jacob Ramirez. Travis Renault with honors. Angelo Ritchie with honors. Mutait Salami with honors. Andrea Sampson with honors. Lucretia Sams. Celeste Satter. Satri. Dominic Scarcella. James Schilling with honors. Jessica Shefton with highest honors. Maxwell Schultenover. Douglas Shaw. Shanice Sims. Evan Shodine with highest honors. Jasmine Skiba with highest honors. Colleen Smith with highest honors. Ola Washon excuse me, Shadokni with high honors. Daniel Stark with highest honors. 
Sarah Stelzer with honors. Peter Stern. David Sullivan with honors. Katrina Sullivan. Annie Swanson with highest honors. Jeffrey Swanson with honors. Samantha Swenson. Clarence Tay. Malane Tangben. Isaiah Thomas with high honors. Mary Thomas with highest honors, valedictorian. Luke Thorson. Kendra Tilbury with high honors. Chad Teague. Tig. Christina Valle. Samantha Vang. Corey Vogus with honors. Jennifer Voss with high honors. Dominic Waltrip with honors. Tessaia Walker with honors. Alicia Ward with honors. Shelby Ward. Dakota Warner. Warsom Warsom. Brianna Washington. Chelsea Webb with honors. Rose Weber. Rachel Wicks. Tyler Wiggins with highest honors. Joshua Whitner. Brandon Wojak with honors. Brett Wold with high honors. Philip Wolney with honors. Devin Young. Nicole Youssef with honors. Elizabeth Zebarth with high honors. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2009.